Hi there, Andrew Jackson, AJ Design Studio. Going to put together a video today on a SolidWorks workaround that I've used for a number of years, which is basically ways to change some features on parts that, for whatever reason, you can't go back and edit the, the base features that make the detail in the first place. So maybe the part's gone to tool and needs some changes and people don't want you to change the base features in case something else changes uh, inadvertently or un unknowingly, or it's imported part. So my test subject today is a product from a previous video, and I've just solidified the top case here in the middle as well. And I'm just going to use this one part here just to show you some things. Okay, so we're using this, this part here. So what I've done is at the bottom here, I've run some, the part's been thickened, and then I've added some draft to the outside edge here, shelled it out. I don't actually have this product, so I don't know how the inside's constructed, but just this is just to illustrate this workaround. And then I've added a couple of fillets to the outside, and then mirrored the parts across. Okay, so with SolidWorks, if you have features, say you solidify a part like this, I roll back, I've thickened it, so I've, I've solidified it, create a solid from a closed volume. If I then add features downstream like drafts, shells, fillets, etc. If I then went back and decided I want to change a surface on this and roll back, let's say back to here, and inserted a face delete, just say we wanted to delete these faces and change those, we deleted those, and then we went insert surface fill, I'm just doing this to illustrate the problem, okay? So um, you wouldn't just patch the same surface back in. And then I knit that back together. And insert boss base, thicken, thicken that part, create solid. Okay, so you think, okay, it's a solid again. The problem is by deleting a face, we've turned this into a surface body from a solid body. So these features downstream here have lost their references. It's, a, it's, a, it's an unfortunate thing that's built into SolidWorks. I've used other solid modelers and they didn't have this problem, but you just need to know about it. Uh, I've, I've worked on parts for clients and they've been quite a long way down the um, tooling pathway and have drawings, production drawings and all the rest of it. And I've had to change something and I've deleted a face and then patched something else back in and then their drawings have fallen over as far as um, dimensions and stuff. So you just, yeah, it's just something to be aware of. So my workaround today is to show you how you'd be able to change something on a part like this and keeping it as a solid. Okay, so I'm just going to delete this delete face here and my features should come back on, see, because it's a solid again. Okay, so I'm going to roll back here and I've got a sketch. Let's just pretend somebody has decided we want this boundary here to insert in there. We want it to go down like this. So I've got a spline, okay? So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go insert curve split line. I'm going to split this top face. I'm going to then create on the right hand plane. So I'm going to create, this is going to be like a big fingernail kind of surface. On the right hand plane, I'm going to create a spline. Like that. Make these all collinear here. And just for the purposes of this exercise, I'm going to keep this surface so it doesn't protrude through to the back. Okay, just to keep it a bit simpler. And go OK. Then I'm going to insert curve split line. I'm going to split this side face. And also insert surface extrude. Uh, and we'll take that out. Certain distance, normal distance. Right, I'm going to create a fill surface here. So insert surface fill. And pick these boundaries one, two, and three. Surface extrude. Okay. And this edge here we want as tangent. Turn optimized surface off. Um, it's a three-sided boundary, so it's 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 got it's not going to optimize it anyway. But and then I want to go tangent to the, the extrude, and I can hide that. So now what I've got is I've got this fill surface. So you'd think, okay, I could just go insert, cut 
with surface. And we pick that fill, get the direction right, pick the body. Okay, so you think, oh yeah, that's all good. But then you hide that body and you go, oh, look at that. It's because the surface comes in, it feathers in at such a, an acutely fine angled tangent that you end up with this kind of weirdness, which is an ideal. So I'm going to show you how you can get around that little issue. So the first thing we need to do is actually offset that surface to the same thickness as our part, which is 1.2 millimeters. So I'll get the fill there and then I'll go offset surface, 1.2 millimeters. Okay, I'm going to get this edge and I want to extend it so it intersects with the surface. So we'll try insert surface untrim, pick that edge. Okay, uh, next up we need to, because we'll have the same problem on the back here because this is entering, um, this surface here runs into this one here tangentially at this point. So we end up some weirdness if I just went in and created a solid in here and, and joined it. So what we need to do is chop some geometry out of the main part first. And one way to do that is to insert a, a surface thicken. So we will offset these two surfaces by zero. Okay, so we want to go insert, cut, thicken, pick that surface. We want to go mid-plane and just a nominal amount and pick the body we want to cut. Okay, so now you see it says bodies to keep. It's because this surface ends on the midline here. It's keeping these little slivers. So we to get around that, we need to extend these edges. So just again, just a small amount. And I'll bring my solid body up. So now if we go insert, cut, thicken with that surface. Okay, so we've cut that that area back where we're getting the issue with the surface, the fill surface running in tangentially. Okay, so now what I can do is I can copy these faces on the inside here and trim them. So I'll hide this, offset, offset by zero, so a surface copy effectively. And then I'm going to hide that solid body and I'll bring up the fill again, the offset of the fill surface. Now I'm going to trim these, so I won't use a mutual trim, we'll, we'll trim them twice. Okay, so we use this as the trimming tool first, keep the inside there, and then use that as the trimming tool and keep this piece. And then knit those together. Okay, so now those are knitted together, now we need to make a planar face to close this into a watertight volume. So we go onto the right hand plane, right, and we'll go right click on one of these uh, boundaries and go select open loop, convert entities. And then those entities, we should be able to make a planar face. And then we knit those together. So that's now a closed surface body. And if we bring up our solid, now we're going to solidify the, uh, the, back, the back part. So insert, boss base, thicken, select the surface body, uh, create solid. Merge result, yes, and we're going to pick that as the body we want to merge onto. Okay, so now we've thickened that part up. Looks like there's something weird going on there. Okay, so there we go. We've got a thickened uh, rear face. So now we can bring up the fill surface. Which we want to um, basically cut this, this volume out of the front of the part. Okay, so to do that, we're basically going to do a very similar thing to what we just did. So in this case, I'm going to make a copy of the fill surface. So we'll offset that by zero. And then I'm going to get that copy. And I'm going to go insert, cut. Oh no, I'm going to insert, thicken that body. And mid-plane, uh, I'm not going to merge it. So 0.5 millimeters, that's enough. And then, so we don't end up with this funny sliver thing going along the middle, I am going to insert face, move, move the mid-plane face out, 
the distance and also we don't want to create another little body here when we chop things out and have this floating around so we can insert another face move and we'll pick the top face and just move that out okay so now we're going to combine subtract so insert features combine subtract so the main body is that we're going to subtract that from it which leaves us with this okay so now i need to copy these faces by so offset by zero and show our fill surface i'm going to knit those together now i need to create a planar face on the center line again so go onto the right plane right click select open loop convert entities go okay make sure that sketch is selected insert surface planar okay and then knit those together and then finally we get to go insert boss base thicken so i like to keep thicken uh separate from the knit i know you can solidify on the knit but i like to have it as separate and create solid from close volume and pick our volume so there you go so we have changed that part the thickness is the same and we didn't need to turn the main body into a into a surface body to achieve that and then re-solidify so theoretically most of these features down here um, apart from this fillet maybe um, and maybe the shell let's have a look so the draft on the outside works the shell is missing a face which is not surprising because we've changed that so that's easily fixed so the shell works uh fill it works around the outside edge because it's the same solid body and okay the fillet on the top has failed it's probably lost its reference but it's showing us what it wanted anyway so we pick that edge there that goes on and let's see if the mirrors work okay so there you go that's a work around the changing solid parts and adding sort of comp more complicated surface features to them without having to desolidify and turn the, the solid body into a surface body and then re-solidify so hopefully you find that useful as i said i've used this multiple times on 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 projects for clients and it seems to work all right and the drawings seem to within uh within reason stay together so yeah happy happy surfacing andrew jackson aj design studio